Okay, this is my uh, third video of trying to make this skull <coughs> for a project I'm working on. And I'm getting pretty far, but right now I'm noticing that the, the jaw is looking better and the teeth are looking nice. Mm, this the sides look a little strange, so I'm going to fix that real quick. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I can always undo it or re-sculpt it, which would be very easy. Uh, nice. And remember to always look in... Uh, or don't, don't be shy to look in multiple views. Like this. So... This looks nice, but then we need to compare it with the other view. No, not yet. Um Yeah, I'm I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna see what this side of the skull looks like. Just to get another visual Oh, it's totally wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see that before. Okay. So this new reference image I'm looking at. I'm going to use a different brush, uh, probably snow cut. Um, yeah, oh, that looks much better. I don't know what I was thinking. I was probably in La La Land. Yeah, that, that should look better. Okay, then, clay build up. Okay. Now, the polygon structure that I just uh, messed with, oh, looks pretty good. Okay, that's nice. Okay, the skull needs to be, uh, that's two points right there. Nice, okay, that's much better. I like that a great deal. Okay, so, um, then the jaw, um, I'm going to use edge polish. Edge polish is a nice brush. <coughs> and then move. And clay polish. <coughs> now this is a nice situation where clay polish would be very helpful. Uh, normally, I don't know. You, you just need to play with it and stuff. Uh, just uh, you know, uh, move the brush out around wherever you want to, things like that, and then press Alt, and then let go of Alt, and then press Alt, and then back and forth, back and forth until you press look that you're shooting for. Okay, let's see if that looks like. Uh, that's good. I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's better. In fact, I don't know this. I don't know. This is just driving me crazy. He needs another, uh, very... Yeah. One nice thing about the move brush in ZBrush is that um, if I wanted the same earring on the other side, you know, you could move it over and be like, oh, I've got steady hands, I've got steady hands. Okay, that's that's exactly where it used to be, right? But, I don't know, it probably wouldn't match up. So, um, undo. Um, one, yeah, this move brush, you can, uh, you know, rotate around like this 360 degrees, but then when you hold down shift, it does it in increments of probably 15 degrees. Uh, so you um, click, or you um, shift, click to where it's straight, straight across like that, and then you move to a different view, and then hold shift to um, align to that view. This would be like a, 
uh, left view and that looks pretty straight and then you go straight up and down and you hold shift well, what happened? okay, I was in that view and then hold shift okay, that, okay that's, a, that's as straight as it's going to get so then you hover over the middle uh, white circle click down and then hold shift and then it drags straight across and whatever you do it it's going straight it, it follows the line so if this was like this you click and hold shift it would go that way so that that's pretty handy if you had some type of line you were trying to follow I don't know like this and this needed to go up like that but at this angle you could just click and shift just like that so he needs one there and then he needs one right up shift move right there then click just you know uh, you can click like this to move it around or you can click anywhere on the screen and it um, um, moves around. Uh, okay, I'm going up. Oh, that's not good. Rotate that. I'm going to hold shift to get probably straight up and down. Then move. That's that's a nice. Really, he's going to like that in a few minutes. Just kidding. Um, okay, now yeah, I'm not quite sure about that right now, so when you're trying to scale something and you don't like the move tool, or it doesn't always work like it should and things like that, you can always go to the deformation palette and then resize everything, and I want this to be a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's a good size of anyway. And then click and move. Mm, maybe it needs to be rotated just a little bit. Well, okay, so nope. Okay, uh, that's nice. That looks like right now. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Through his nose and his eye. That's fancy. I like that a lot. He is a gangster. Cool. Okay, I've taken up a lot of time doing this. Okay, there's his earrings. And, uh. Now. The rest of his mouth. Probably, I don't know, that, that's not how many teeth people usually have, but it's, it's, um, it, that's what this skull, this skeleton skull has. I don't know, he's different. Okay, blob brush, and then, alright, uh, no, it's, that's increased the intensity. Gentle. He now he's got teeth. Okay. Now let's see if I can let's see what brush can I use? Play build up would be nice. Um, I haven't, I don't think Dan started with the right now. Um, hmm. Just for a little bit of inspiration, I'm going to give him some ears. 
Uh, no. Let's see. Yeah. Upside down. Just kidding. Okay. Um. Move curve. No. Probably not. Layer, possibly. Yeah, it's a bit fresh. take this skeleton too far, but if I added color to him, he'd look pretty nice. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's see what the back... Um, back of his skull could look like. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Nice, okay, I've got a few more minutes, so let's try and do that. Okay, there's a skull. And then... Yeah, I was just looking at that brush. I didn't think I was going to use it, but I might just use it. As a reference point, I'm going to put like where I think the center of where I'm trying to model is, just so I can uh, uh, get a better understanding of where these lines need to go. So let's start with the top of his head. Okay, now I've got um, uh, symmetry on. So it should be easier to. Whoa. No, I don't think that's going to work. Um, let's try. Nice. It looks like my hands are shaky, but that's not possible. I don't have shaky hands. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. And then symmetry off. Okay, now. Nice. how far this is going to go, so... Oh, I'll just go. Ta-da! Oh, that's not good. Okay. Then, hold down control, and click and drag um, outside of the uh, object I'm working on and connect these points. Oh, I'm almost done. Okay, oh, that's too bad. Resize. Okay. Fun. I've got 20 seconds, so I think this is the skull that I'll be using for the, <laughs> the project I'm working on. And I'll show you what it's like without the crazy earrings I was giving you. And that's it.